Right, we're going to do a mixed number sum, three and a quarter plus five and a half. Mm -hmm. Right, how are we gonna do that sum? Right, quite simply, let's, let's look at the whole numbers first. And what is that? That's add, so three plus five is equal to eight. Now, the next step is we're going to look at the denominators. Okay, these are the denominators, the four and the two. And what we're looking for is to make these denominators the same. In other words, the same in value. So we're going to ask ourselves, what number, what is the lowest number? The lowest common multiple or the lowest common denominator. Remember, those are denominators. The lowest one that four and two can divide into. And in this case, it's going to be 4. That is the lowest number that 4 and 2 will be able to divide into. So let's make the denominators the same. Okay. And that will stay the same. But this is going to change. How did we get from that 2 to that 4? What did we do to that 2 to get 4? We multiplied it by 2. So what we do to that we do exactly the same to the numerator, okay? So two times two gave me four, and one times two is two. Now, we can get to our answer a little bit simpler. Bring the eight down. One plus two is three. Now we don't add the fours. They are the same, they stay the same. So my final answer is eight and three quarters. So if we look at it again, what did we do first? We added the whole numbers. Okay, we got eight. Then we looked for the lowest common multiple or the lowest common denominator. In other words, the number that both four and two could divide into the lowest number. And in this case, we found that the lowest number that both divided into was four. And then we all, had to, all we had to do, add the numerators, don't add the denominator, the denominator stays the same, and eight and three quarters is the correct answer.